Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday, and I wanna talk about a little bit back to yesterday, what happened with that 90 plus times 10 actually dropping finally in the game after two days after being in the code, they finally dropped that SBC, but they dropped it at an insane overpriced amount of squads and SBC cards and fodder that you had to turn in to get that SBC done. I also wanna talk about Icon Swaps today because Icon Swaps is again, gonna be in the conversation as we have the second set of tokens coming out. So good luck if you're grinding after a Maldini, after a Zidane, after some of those high tier Icon packs, you will be able to attain some of those after today because today is the second set of those tokens needed to hit those high tier items and the higher swap reward items as a part of the icon swaps. Also wanna talk about what other content could be coming today. We don't have an icon upgrade SBC out right now. We haven't had a player SBC in a couple days. And where in the world is this Nani upgrade, man? Again, we're just still left here thinking, where is our Nani upgrade still a 95 rated card? Crazy that that has not been updated yet, man. It's almost been five days now. It's basically been four and a half, almost five days um, since that Nani and the MLS All-Stars beat the League of MX All-Stars. Um, in that game. So without further ado, let's talk about this 90 plus times 10 because if you look at Footbin, this is actually pretty comical. This SBC was released at a crazy expensive price point today. 424,000 coins is what it shows at the moment. I think it was about 500K and even more expensive than that earlier because fodder absolutely exploded. 600K is what this was when it first came out because fodder absolutely ballooned. Take a look at the index 82. 460 points up to 629 points. Now it's actually dropped down to lower than it was pre 6 p.m. on Sunday, but literally fodder across the entire game went crazy. But you're like, yo, Nate, why did fodder go crazy if this has a 95% down vote on Footbin? Why does everybody not like this SBC, but fodder still went crazy? And I want to talk about that because that is just where this game, especially this year, we've noticed has been taken to the next level. And EA knows this, right? These gambling pack SBCs, EA has released more this year than ever. And they know that every time they release something like this, people are gonna be involved. People are going to want to do the SBC, right? We've, we've seen it year long with party bags. It started even earlier this year in March with the mid icon player pick. Packs like that, people just go crazy for on this game. So this 90 plus today required 83 all the way up to 87 squads, which was way too much, right? You look at the 87 times 10, which at this stage of the game is almost giving you like, it's actually pretty similar to the 90 plus times 10 with the amount of cards are in special packs. I know this one, you can still pack gold card off gold cards out of this one. You cannot because it is a 90 plus times 10 from the best of team. But still, I really didn't see many at all. If any, 99 rated cards come from this 90 plus times 10, which makes me think that it's more often worth your money to do the 87 plus times 10. Now, this is also non-repeatable, one time non-repeatable, and the 87 times 10 goes away today on Monday. Now, we still have three, two, two weeks left this promo, not a full three weeks. Uh, so I'm very curious to see if EA re-ups the 87 times 10 again, or if that goes away because they've been re-upping it now for the past few weeks we've really grown to like that sbc people still might want to grind that uh to finish icon sbcs or to finish um just trying to pack as high of rated cards like 99 rated ronaldo messi neymar and firmino right a lot of people are chasing even like acuna or verati or cards like that from this 87 plus times 10 i'm curious to see if ea does re-release this sbc but again just again to talk about the demand on this game for SBCs like this, even though on Footbin, 95% downvote, people see a pack like this, like again, that gamble type of pack, and they just, they have to do it, right? I could pack 99 Ronaldo, OMG, I have to do this pack, right? And that's going to be something that I think we see even more and taken to another level in FIFA 22. Now we're going to talk about some of that stuff in a few videos later on in the next couple of weeks about how I think FIFA 22 is going to capitalize on that sort of gamble pack addiction type, you know, feeling and wanting to try to take an opportunity to say, hey, I'm gonna take this chance and try to pack one of these high rated cards from this SBC because I could pack Ronaldo, I could pack Messi, but in reality, I saw so few people packing 99s today from that 90 plus, it just really wasn't worth it, right? So that was a bit of a bummer 
that they released at SBC, but it's also just kind of good to recognize these sorts of things, even when we're kind of like disengaged in this state, state of FIFA where a lot of people are like, not as interested in the game right now and the game is not as fun right now as it was even like two weeks ago right still noticing these things learning about the market making connections in your head and be like okay this type of sbc when it gets added into the code next year in october november december i'm not saying a 90 plus but some sort of like upgrade pack upgrade sbc or guaranteed kind of gamble pack party bag sbc if you will you're gonna watch people go out and buy some of these cards and they're gonna go up in price as the SBC is coming, but then it's like, oh, okay, well, are they gonna go up even further when the SBC comes out? Probably, yeah, because it's a gamble SBC pack that people just are addicted to doing in this game. Now, again, a reminder of this too is if you take a look at the daily graph, this last year in March, we saw you know fodder cards reach the highest points they have ever, ever reached. Take a look at Carvajal, Hall, 41,000 coins this year during March. SBC fodder this past year was more expensive than ever for the entire year. But that's just because EA was releasing more content. They were releasing more of those party bags, upgrade packs, the scam scam packs, if you will. Sometimes, sometimes they're, you know, a decent value shot at something insane, like the 87 times 10 craftable, right? Decent value. But still, this year, one of the things I learned this year in FIFA 21 is that literally people will pay whatever they have to pay to get an SBC done that they want to get done because let's say it has potential for them to pack an insane card. So that's the number one thing that I learned this year. Um, FIFA 20, we saw that at the end of the year, they started, you know, making SBC cards go for crazy prices uh, like SBC fodder. And that was even furthered this year. So that was one thing I wanted to talk about today with this 90 plus times 10, even though, yes, it looks like a cracked out pack. It would be insane. The pack weight's not good and the price is just through the roof. So definitely not good value in my opinion by any means, but if you have the fodder and it's the end of the game, you know, maybe you just give it a shot because why the frick not, right? I didn't do this one. I instead did two of the 87 times 10s which was fun, but of course I didn't pack a 99, so we're still ending the year this year without packing 99, which sucks, but it is what it is. Now, let's talk about today's content. Monday, Icon Swap Arenos, the second sets. The milestones from in here are gonna be going away 14 hours. Your swaps, which actually I'm one win away from uh, eight weekly league matches, but I'm not gonna end up getting a second token to get my 83 times five. So I really don't care too much about getting this done. But if you are somebody who is grinding icon swaps and you need the second set, let's say you are going after, I did not mean to click on squad battles, but let's mean you are, let's say you are going after like that 95 plus icon moments pack, the 94 plus, um, where is it at? The 94 plus primer moments player pick. I don't think I'd go after that one or the 94 plus primer moments attacker player pick. Some people are doing that one. Um, or just the 94 plus moments player pick. If you're going for one of these really high tier icon moments player picks, um, this is your chance, right? Today you have two weeks basically to get the rest of your swap tokens, to put them in. If you're going for Maldini, maybe the 95 plus pack, maybe it's even just the second half of your tokens and you're trying to get the 94 plus moments attacker or mid or the 93 plus moments attacker player pick, right? And so I know some of you guys have already done the packs and now you're like, okay, do I go for the 92 plus? Do I go for the 94 plus pack or do I try to grind out for the 93 plus icon moments player pick? So I know a lot of you guys are deciding on what you want to grind. You know, I wouldn't expect that the icon swaps requirements uh, today would be like too much different than, than they always are. It's probably going to be the same. You know, they might switch up the leagues a little bit instead of Bundesliga, Serie A, Premier League. Maybe they'll throw League One in there, maybe La Liga. But then for the icon swaps, probably more squad battles games, probably another rivals, probably another weekend league, um, you know, objective to make these swaps available so you can grind them and finish off your swaps dream, right? So that's one thing I am expecting today. Now, some of you guys are asking, is weekend league over? And technically, if you look at the schedule and since this promo of preseason runs until September, what is it like 17th or something like that? There is at least two more weekend leagues left. So we have this weekend, which takes us almost into September. We have the first weekend of September and the second weekend of September. And then I think these two might be the last weekend leagues. I don't know if they're going to run a weekend league September 17th, 18th, 19th, because that'll be the end of preseason and that'll be basically the end of FIFA. I'm honestly surprised that they're that they're having foot champions run this far 
into September anyways. Uh, that interests me a little bit. I'm, I'm curious to see that. Usually they start, they kind of end it like at the start of September, they cut off the weekend league, but that's not how they're running it this year. It seems, it seems like they're going to be running this a little bit further into the month of September. So just kind of watch out for that. I know a lot of you guys are asking when is weekend league over? When is this going to be done? When's the last time stuff and questions like that. And I think that is the answer to our question right there with how things look and how the swaps look and stuff like that. So hopefully they do give out some very, I guess, good value swaps, items, and tokens um, today. Make it pretty easy. If you're really trying to go for Zidane at this stage of the game, I, I rate the grind. I really do. But I hope that EA makes it easy for you. Really, I really, really do. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, also, we are still expecting uh, a pack that we have not seen yet. And I know that I've been mentioning this, and I'm going to pull up the... Um, pull up the webpage right now at the moment because you guys know what I'm about to talk about. We have not seen the League of Your Own pack. Now, I would assume that if it's an objective, which I think it would be, that that should be coming earlier rather than later in this first week because, again, these are all the rewards in here, these three different things, the Kickstarter pack, the Coin Boost, and the League of Your Own pack um, is all coming during week one, see, during the first week of preseason. So based off of what this reads... We should get the League of Your Own pack, which will include all of these inside of it by Friday. And I feel like if, if, if it is an objective, I feel like they can't really make that an SBC. If it's one pack with all that inside of it, it would be an objective. And uh, that should be coming out very soon. So I'm curious to see when EA does drop that, which I would expect today on Monday be a great opportunity for that. And of course, what kind of grind it takes to get that but these again are the things we're expecting this week and that is the last piece of the puzzle in terms of content this week uh that we should be seeing related to fifa 22. now one thing i'm also a little bit i guess kind of hoping for today is another icon upgrade pack sbc right i'm kind of hoping that since we have all of these cards all or all of these packs that are in the code now we've had the 92 plus icon moments play a pick for like three weeks okay ea sports drop us like a 94 plus pack today drop us a 93 plus icon moments player pick even if it's not one of these that are in swaps just give us some sort of icon upgrade sbc that is different that'll you know be just as insane as some of these swaps packs um, and give people just another different icon moments SBC to do if they want to in the game. So that's honestly, boys, kind of the content I'm thinking for today. Hopefully we get um, a new objective for preseason with that League of Your Own pack inside of it. We haven't had a player SBC since Friday with the Castilejo and the Godin SBCs as well. Maybe today on Monday, they do some sort of player SBC. Again, they don't mention anything about transfers, on this web page about preseason content it's just best of packs and the foot 22 and, and 21 rewards i really was hoping they would they would you know involve some transfer content everybody wants a 99 cr7 everybody wants a Varane or a sancho or you know all types of players that have transferred they people want to see the transfer cards yeah i know footies is ending this martial is about to expire too pretty soon but um you know just just drop us the content right just make a juiced up card and drop the content. Also, warm up challenge three, it's like 18 to 20K to do this SBC. Definitely not worth it. Again, I'm gonna stand firm in my agenda that if you're doing the warm up objectives, I think you might be wasting your time a little bit. Unless you got nothing else to do and you wanna get some coin boosts, I really don't think these are worth your time for the small reward that you get inside of FIFA 22. So hopefully we see that last league of your own pack today. That'd be really nice through objectives. But other than that, boys, it's just probably going to be a pretty quiet Monday on FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's my thoughts for today. Good luck if you're grinding icon swaps or if you're grinding any of the upgrade packs. Still, if you're trying to craft, um, may the pack luck be with you. And I hope you craft that stuff ASAP so that you're able to use these cards in the last two weeks of this game. Because we are in the end game as we know it. All right, boys. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Photo Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.